Hello guys, I'm going to my new YouTube video for today. Sorry that it's dark, it's cloudy, and my lights over here are too bright. Anyway, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the extremely late theory of Ned becoming the Hobgoblin for a future Spider-Man film. Not in No Way Home like many people thought. And in the description, I put the pic of the... Oh, a lot of that's my turn of thought. Sorry, the pick of what I believe is gonna be something happening in No Way Home. It may or may not happen. So if you click on the link, it, it, it will take you to the original pick of Aunt May running from like a lab or something with us with the Goblin Serum in her hand. Why would she be running with the Goblin Serum in her hand if that's the Goblin Serum? And that's from the trailer, like, I applaud for the Spider-Man fans to, like, do extremely well shots of, like, trailers to put on the stuff, you know? Anyway, what exactly is going on? Way before we got the trailer reveal for No Way Home, many people were saying, Oh, Ned will become the Hobgoblin because the actor Jacob Batalon, uh, he got fit for the movie to, you know, for No Way Home. So people were saying, OMG, he's going to become the Hobgoblin like in the comics. And honestly, I never thought of that until I saw the pic yesterday. And hence I'm doing this video. Aunt May holding the Goblin Serum. And this is my thing. I know this theory is like super late, but it's my turn now. Um, so say Ned gets in a serious injury or close to death, right? In the movie. So Aunt May... Uh, goes to a lab because it looks like a lab. She infiltrates a lab with the help of Peter Parker or another Spider-Man. And she gets the Goblin Serum because a Peter Parker or Tom's Peter says like, oh, like the Goblin Serum can possibly help Ned be healed from like the fatal wounds or like close to dying. So they give him the Goblin Serum. They inject him. And he, Ned, he heals and is better now, but he slowly turns mad into Hobgoblin. I know, re remember when uh, William the First Green Goblin turned into Green Goblin like right away because of the uh, because of the serum? But what if with Ned, what if with Ned, the serum works like how, how it was meant to be without the madness symptom? But the serum works differently on his body. And the serum slowly turns him into madness leading to Hobgoblin. That'll be a great way because I think we're getting another trilogy with Tom Holland like in college years. So it will be, and we all know, Spider-Man fights loved ones and friends, you know, in the comics all the time. So what if Ned slowly turns himself into the Hobgoblin because of the serum and he might be a villain for a future Spider-Man film in the trilogy. Maybe for like the new, well, for the movie in the trilogy for the next one. Because I think we know that Tom is going to do another trilogy hopefully in college years. So Ned can, can full on turn uh, Hobgoblin in the possible possible new trilogy and that's it will Ned become the Hobgoblin like many thought when we saw Jacob Batalon with like you know being fit to film No Way Home could he, could he be <clears throat> a new villain for the future hmm I mean that will make sense but who knows but it's an interesting theory that many had many, like before the when we saw the pick of Jacob Batalon. And it, and it will make sense, you know, like a best friend finding a best friend. Uh, I know it kind of sounds cliche, but Marvel Studios can make it work. I mean, we had Bucky versus Captain America. And now we can have Peter Parker fighting his best friend turn into an ugly goblin that throws, oh, obviously the pumpkin bombs, but you know. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video, and until next time guys, peace, and let's go Spider-Man, woo, oh my god, let's go.